All right, thanks very much for staying with us here on SABC News. Let's uh, get some analysis then on the expropriation bill uh, that has been uh, debated in Parliament and indeed uh, voting has uh, taken place. And uh, we bring back a political analyst, Dr. Ntikadelo Breakfast. Thanks very much for staying with us, uh, Dr. Breakfast. I mean, your reaction to what's just happened? No abstentions, 145 against, uh, 205 um, in support. I mean, what do you make of that? Yeah, so um, Flo, first of all, I'm not uh, taken aback by the turn of uh, events. Yeah. I saw it coming uh, simply because uh, the whole concept of uh, expropriation of land without compensation was foregrounded by the forces of uh, RET. No wonder there has been a slow pace of uh, implementation of that. Why? Because uh, the dominant faction within the ANC, namely the, the, the Tumamina faction, they never supported that uh, in the first place. So they only gave in to that uh, because there was a threat at the conference that some people are going to uh, collapse the uh, conference. Uh, so they tried then to uh, cool them off. Uh, but this is not something that they uh, supported because of the fear that the you know zimbabwean uh, style of uh, land grabs is going to pose a threat to uh, the economy and food uh, uh, security no wonder um uh, the, the the bill uh, did not get the, the support that uh, it needed mm -hmm. and then i want to talk about the the, the stance of uh, the eff which i find uh, rather interesting i mean certainly We've throughout heard about uh, the issue of land uh, from uh, the EFF and, and for them to say that it's a sellout bill. I mean, what do you, what do you understand from um, their viewpoint with regards uh, to the amendment of uh, the, 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 the Section 25 of, of, of the Constitution? Yeah, I think their view is that the, 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 the proposed bill was not uh, radical enough. It was not aimed at exposing the binaries between the powerful and the powerless, between the colonizers and the colonized, between the oppressors and the, the oppressed. That it was a softy, softy approach uh, in the sense that the EFF demanded that uh, land belongs to the state, uh, but the, 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 the version of the bill uh, said the exact opposite of that, uh, that they did not support that uh, idea uh, wholly. Mm -hmm. well, well, in terms of it not being radical enough, where to uh, from here? Because does, does this then mean uh, that the issue of land and the land uh, debate uh, kind of stalls and uh, we uh, carry on as, as, as it always has been? I mean, wh where do we go from this point then? Uh, uh, the issue of the land reform is one of the issues that were left unresolved uh, during the political transition to uh, democracy because we must bear in mind that our democracy came into the picture via a political settlement. So I think in the name of a reconciliation, a social cohesion, nation, building, the ANC government has tended to uh, turn a blind eye to this. Uh, but now it, it's something that we cannot avoid uh, discussing. Mm. Why? Because land is money, land is the uh, economy, uh, land has to do with property uh, relations. Uh, so, so, so this is a necessary uh, debate because uh, it has to do with the subversion of the social order uh, in terms of who owns what uh, in the country. And it's a debate that cannot be uh, avoided. Yeah, I found it uh, quite strange, I must say, Dr. Breakfast, um, hearing Minister Ronald uh, Lamuda talking uh, about uh, the issue of uh, land rights and the equitable distribution of uh, land. Um, when the ANC in the past has, has had the strength and the power uh, to be able to make uh, proper changes when it comes uh, to uh, the issue of land. And when you talk about turning a blind eye, is that, is that what you're referring to in terms of uh, the ANC in the past, um, hoping that the issue would kind of uh, go away and now it's it's kind of gained that uh, sort of momentum and now they want to uh, seem to be on the, the right side of history when they could have uh, made those amendments or made those changes when they, were, they even had a stronger footing uh, in, in, in Parliament. 
Yes, uh, they, they, they could have made the constitutional amendment if they wanted to. Yeah. Remember, at some point, the ANC had uh, uh, two thirds. Exactly, exactly. Uh, I, I can't remember when. Yes. Uh, so um, they could have done that. But they, 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 they opted for the option of willing buyer and willing uh, seller. Uh, and that policy uh, did not achieve its intended uh, objectives. Uh, no wonder now people are saying it, but uh, I mean, this thing of land has to do with uh, the relationship uh, with regard to uh, the ownership of the means of uh, uh, production. And it's something that we have to uh, discuss uh, as a country. Yeah, does this then open the gate to what you referred to earlier, earlier on as, you know, something radical? You know, you, it, you know, you said that the EFF might have felt that this is not radical enough. Does this then open the gate uh, for, for there to be something more radical when it comes to addressing uh, the issue of land? Because it's not an issue that's going to go away at all. No, I, I, I think what uh, this flow does is to create a scope for the EFF to have a strategic advantage now to advance the narrative that the ANC is not uh, serious about uh, transforming the economy uh, in terms of the relationship between the haves and uh, the have-nots. Mm. Uh, and I think that argument, it might sit well uh, in some quarters uh, because it, it, it looks like the ANC is fearful of uh, what might happen if it pursues a radical uh, approach on the land uh, reform. All right, uh, Dr. Nsikilo of Breakfast, thanks very much uh, for having this uh, discussion uh, with us on the back of uh, the National Assembly failing uh, to pass the Constitutional Amendment Bill. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. All right, and uh, of course, uh, that is the conversation. Uh, of course, uh, the National Assembly then failing uh, to pass uh, that bill. Uh, no abstentions, 145 against it, 205 in support. So, of course, uh, that's where we stand, not reaching a two-thirds uh, majority. Uh, the requisite quorum was indeed uh, reached, uh, but uh, not getting support on that uh, 